I'm Andrew Hall, and I'm an artist, engineer, uh, pretty dodgy engineering. Uh, art's my main um, focus. Uh, I churn out quite a bit of stuff. I'm still not really good at business. I don't really make good money out of, out of it, really. Um, I do make uh, reasonably good money out of teaching uh, people how to how to make art. Um, I teach a lot of kids, like schools and that, come to Corbin's quite a lot. Uh, this is an old uh, 1976 Skoda cooling fan. Uh, it's been outside, I probably stuck it outside when I was living in Massey. It was about 1988. It's, God, it's probably been outside for more than 30 years. Um, and I, uh, when I moved here, I stuck it straight back up again on the fence originally. So yeah, it's been outside since 1988. Without oil? Uh, yeah, no oil. Uh, they, they were made out of really quality, good quality materials. That bearing in there is perfect. It only needs the slightest amount of uh, wind to get it going. Even that Barbie's lasted quite well. That's been on there for 20 years. And why, why Barbie dolls? Uh, it's just got quite a good, uh, it looks quite a cool uh, motion that it does. The way the arms uh, twirl around like that. Ballerina, ballerina Barbie. I originally um, started putting them together because I had a whole lot of um, Hitachi and Makita drill uh, stuff, which doesn't work anymore. Um, I put them together, but then I started getting a bit carried away and adding some different uh, items. I don't know whether it works or not. Um, this sort of took... It didn't take five minutes to put together. So far, it's taken about four hours, which... Uh, some people probably don't realise that it takes that long. He's got an extra, uh, uh, extra face which I might attach, a removable uh, mask which I'll attach um, later on. Um, Has he got a name? Oh, what did I call him? Uh, God, I did have a name. Uh, it, could, it could be something like Makita, Makita Hitachi Foot or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> could be. <laughs> Or it could just be John. <laughs> yeah, it's all, a lot of my welding is like welding through paint and rust. Um, I'll tidy this up. I will, this is uh, just the first go at it. It was just an example of welding. Um, what are you making there, Andrew? This is a, this is a couple of feet for one of my um, legs with the uh, feet. I'll, I'll put some toes on those too. Um, what will you use for toes? I've got some screws, um, I've got, um, which I'll tack about five of them onto. They're quite th really thick screws, um, sort of with a slight bend. God, I should have grabbed one. And um, yeah, that's some really ugly welding there. But I'm not too worried about it being too untidy. But I'll, I'll finish off. Um, I'll go around and tidy it up a little bit. Um, yeah, there's all different uh, varieties of mild steel, high tensile, painted. Um, it's new stuff would be a lot easier, um, but yeah, all the stuff I use is second hand. Where, where would you get most of it from? Is it just stuff that people give you, or is it? Yeah, a lot of people have given me this stuff. I got this stuff. Actually, this stuff is pretty high tensile. It was a big, long, flat bar. It was probably about two meters long. I chopped it all up into little bits like that. I noticed it was quite hard to cut. Um, but yeah, so, so you can, it's got a bit of a ring to it. It's, um, it's not mild steel. Um, yeah, there's all different varieties. And sometimes you don't know ex exactly what the outcome is going to be. When you start welding it, it's, um, the, that can behave pretty um, in all sorts of different ways because of the different alloys and stuff. That's definitely um, pretty hideous welding there at the moment. Mm -hmm. 